everyone, this is Travis Quadlander here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt, and today we're looking at a beautiful Violet Effect 2021 Peterbilt 389 with 78 inch Platinum Sleeper. This is a true owner operator spec truck. It's got a couple upgrades on it that we don't uh, put on our standard owner operator spec, and I'll highlight some of those features. Uh, you may notice up top it has no air horns on this truck uh, and the five bullet marker lights. Uh, we will add a train horn uh, to you at no cost and it already has the leather pull strap from the headliner uh, plumbed for the uh, train horn. Uh, so if you want to use the train horn with that pull strap or if you want to add a uh, lever uh, for that train horn, we can do either one of those. And like I said, we will install the train horn for you at no additional cost. This truck also has an air ride front suspension. So those are a couple of the upgrades that we've got uh, set up on this truck for you. Again, this is the 2021 Peterbilt 389 in Violet Effect. It's powered by a Cummins X15 Performance Series engine, 565 horsepower, 1850 pound-feet of torque, compared to an Eaton Fuller 18-speed manual transmission, all aluminum wheels, all disc brakes. We've got a 325 gear ratio on this truck. And let's take a look up close. This Violet Effect is beautiful. It's a beautiful November day here in uh, North Texas here in Irving. And I will certainly take it for uh, November if you can see in my reflection. I'm just here out in my shirt, no jacket, enjoying the beautiful day. And I hope you can see all that metallic flake in the camera. It's a beautiful color. Plenty of dust on the uh, fenders. We'll get that all cleaned off for you before you take delivery of the truck. This truck has the seven inch chrome dual exhaust from the factory. We've got the uh, 60 inch uh, tips with the uh, curb tips. Uh, it's the tallest and largest exhaust that you can get from the factory. You've got three options for the tips from the factory. The uh, miter cut, this uh, curved tip, and they also offer a 45 degree bend as well. Um, up top, like I said, no horns on the roof. Just a really clean look. That allows us to add the uh, two lights for a total of seven, four lights for a total of nine, which isn't my favorite because they don't get spaced out evenly. Uh, or you can add eight for a total of 13 marker lights where there's literally like no space in between the lights. It looks really cool. Um, even if you just want to leave it this way, like kind of an old school look, uh, we can do that. Uh, like I said, we will add the train horn at no cost for you. We are working. One thing I wish we had done a little bit differently on this truck is spec it without the uh, spotlights on both sides. I feel a truck with air horns on the top looks better with the spotlights. I think with no air horns, it needs to have no spotlights. My personal preference, again, one thing I love about trucking is that everybody has a, a unique goal and a unique idea of what they think is cool. And that's what makes trucking great. You know, one of the aspects that makes trucking great. Um, up front, we've got the uh, Texas style 18 inch chrome bumper with the tow pin holes. Uh, if you want the uh, same bumper without the tow pin holes, uh, we're able to do that. If you want a custom bumper, 20, 22 inch, or even a 24 inch tapered bumper uh, with a lift up, we have those options available for you. Of course, we love our characteristic stamped oval steel grill. That's steel, that's not plastic. It's gonna prevent your radiator from getting damaged. Uh, gonna prevent downtime having to uh, fix that radiator or fix those pesky grill parts. I mean, it's gonna take plenty of beating on there. I mean, you can literally stand on that grill and it's not going anywhere. All aluminum wheels, all disc brakes. We've got the uh, Low Pro 24 fives uh, with the uh, Peterbilt ovals, Bridgestone R283s up front, and the uh, Bridgestone. M713s in the rear. We've got a 150 gallon fuel tank on the uh, passenger side, 110 on the driver's side. Of course, we spec this with the uh, locking fuel caps. Get the camera to spin around. There we go. Locking fuel caps, it's a cheap option from the factory. Definitely pretty costly if you add it after the fact. Additional toolboxes on both sides. 
there is a look at the uh, Hodge Belt Premium 304 Mirror Stainless Steel 30 inch quarter fenders. Those are the triangle mount. Uh, from the factory, Hodge Belt gets us three options. This 30 inch, which is the nicest, largest one you can get from the factory. The uh, other options at the factory, you've got the same kind of style triangle mount 304 uh, premium stainless steel with the mirror finish and a 24 inch. And then Hodge Belt also offers a 27 inch uh, tube mount. It's not the 304 mirror finish, but it is still a very hardy uh, stainless steel. All are great options. It's really personal preference when it comes down to it. One thing we don't love, there's a new FMCSA guideline that requires these mid-frame mounted marker lights. They're pretty freaking hideous. They're not as bad as I thought that they were gonna be. There's really just a couple bolts and an electric cable. Pretty sure we can find a way for those to come off if you need, need them off. Not as bad as I thought they would be, but still pretty hideous on such a pretty uh, nice looking truck. Um, I think the requirement is any truck over 300 total inches requires this. Uh, obviously on a 280 inch wheelbase truck like this, um, with the uh, extra length of the distance between your front axle to the front bumper, you are over 300 total inches. Well, getting back to some cool, some cool stuff. Um, we've got the stainless steel premium mud flap hangers. They are spring loaded, so you don't have to worry about getting them damaged if you uh, hit them on something. We've got the uh, LED backup and tail lights, the oval ones mounted inside of the frame. Gives it a really nice clean look. Um, everything's just integrated in it. I love these as well as the uh, circular ones that are mounted below the frame. It comes down to personal preference and what you're gonna do with the truck in terms of customization, customization afterwards. Low air leaf rear suspension. Again, this is on a 325 gear ratio. There's a look at your Holland FW35 fifth wheel plate. That is the most popular fifth wheel plate um, in the industry. If you want the same fifth wheel plate with a uh, Teflon non-grease plate, they call it the FW33. We offer that as well. And of course we have the uh, aluminum uh, FW17. Uh, and if you're gonna go up to the uh, beefier heavy haul op applications, we've got the FW70 as well. Get additional toolboxes with deck plate access on both sides. Chrome hose, tenna, pogo stick, whatever you want to call it. Uh, plenty of grab handles. Um, when you do have the sleeper extenders on the truck, I do like having the grab handles. I think it looks, it just fits the, the style a little bit better. If we're doing the uh, small sleeper extenders, um, fewer grab handles looks better in my opinion. Six load lights, flush mounted from the factory. Um, that's the most flush mounted load lights you can get from the factory. Uh, you are able to add two bracket mounted load lights from the factory. Uh, if you want more or less load lights, uh, we can customize that in our body shop or order it with fewer load lights as well. Stainless steel cover on the def tank. Of course, windows on both sides of the sleeper. Here's a look at your true dual exhaust with the Y pipe and our Kisling battery disconnect switch. Uh, you may have heard me say before, I prefer putting the uh, disconnect switch on this side of the battery um, because if you do add a lights panel right here, it makes it very hard to access that battery disconnect switch. Taking a look inside, there is a platinum interior on this truck. We've got the black premium leather ultra ride seats. Uh, benefit of the ultra ride seats is you are able to do these swing back armrests. On the Sears Atlas seats, it is a wider base, it is softer leather, but you cannot do the swing back armrests on those Atlas 80 seats. Arctic gray interior, got a rosewood dash, keyless entry, all chrome bezels and gauges, 42 miles on the ticker for this truck, so you will be the uh, first person to sneeze in it. So look at your uh, leather wrapped steering wheel. If you wanna upgrade to a wood and chrome or a colored steering wheel, uh, we do have those options available as well. Navigation system, PTO switch mounted on the dash. So if you do add a PTO to the truck, uh, it's a lot easier to have it hooked up. Uh, factory is still putting these axle temperature gauges as far away from each other as possible. Uh, again, if you're taking delivery of this truck, uh, I'd be happy to 
switch the location of that and I do need to get a video up on how easy that is to do. Uh, I prefer to put the front and rear axle temperature gauges here, here, and what a lot of people do and typically what I do is put the axle temperature gauges right there. Eaton Fuller 18 speed manual transmission. Smart sound insulation in the cab, thermal insulation in the sleeper. Got the uh, swing back armrests on both sides, like I said. Sticking a little bit. You can lock those in place where you want them to be at. Adjusting them is very easy. And putting them back, just lift up. There's a look at your 78 inch sleeper. Of course, we've got it specced with the premium mattress. Additional cabinets with the matching rosewood to match the dash. Everything's carpet lined so you don't have to hear your items rolling around. Notice the uh, dual torsion beams or Torx arms, whatever the correct terminology is for that. It's gonna keep those cabinet doors open. It's not gonna be flapping down, hitting you in the back of the head whenever you're leading in there, hitting your arm whenever, whoa, that was hitting your hand while you're trying to uh, load items in and out. When you lift it up, it's gonna stay up. When you wanna put it down, it's gonna go down. Um, you've got windows on both sides of the sleeper, AC vents on both sides of the sleeper, plenty of storage space down here. You've got a large and a small cup holder. So if you're just gonna put a 12 ounce can, it's gonna fit. If you're gonna put a huge Whataburger, what a size drink in there, you're gonna have room for that in there as well. Uh, I've heard me say before, we've been installing more and more inverters. I like to put the plug right here um, for a really clean, flush look. Only drawback is don't spill your drink in that outlet. That would not be good. Again, you've got the uh, premium mattress underneath. You've got the uh, premium speaker package for the cabin sleeper with your subwoofer. These lights will light up automatically whenever you open the uh, storage doors on either side of the sleeper or lift up the mattress. There is a manual switch on them as well. Of course, you've got your hazard triangles, your fire extinguisher, and your tow pins right there. Rear AC is right here. This filter element slides out really easily, just like a cabin air filter in your car. So when it comes time to changing that out, don't let the service department charge you for that. You can swap it out yourself in 30 seconds. So again, don't let the service department charge you for that when you can do it yourself in just a couple seconds. Sorry, service department, just uh, I would do it myself. <laughs> um, again, you've got tinted windows on both sides. They vent open. You've got the screen right there to keep the bugs out. Directional map lights on both sides of the of here. Again, it's all directional, so you can change it. AC vents, sleeper light controls back here. We've got a fridge mounted from the factory. Huge closets on both sides. We did not do the workstation on this truck. If you do want to do the workstation, you certainly can. Um, either uh, we've got some trucks available with the workstation. I, Iowa Customs makes a great aftermarket workstation that you are able to customize a little bit more as well if you prefer to do that. You've got a couple more lights up here and a mirror so you can uh, brush your teeth or do your tie in the morning. Thankfully, I haven't had to wear a tie in a while, so. And of course, the best view in trucking. A Peterbilt 389 extended hood. You point that wing on the horizon just keep on trucking. Hopefully you guys are enjoying a beautiful day like we are here in Dallas today. Now let's take a look, a look at the heartbeat of this truck. Of course, one thing we love about our 389s, we are the only manufacturer that offers an all aluminum hood. It makes it very easy to open up this hood. not caught on something. <laughs> Very easy to open the hood, one-handed while I'm filming. That means you're gonna be more likely to do your pre-drive checks, pre-drive checks to find any minor issues before they become major ones. There's a look at your Cummins X15 Performance Series engine. 1850 pound-feet of torque, 565 horsepower. 
Love the uh, X15 name badges, just big and bold. The Performance Series gets this black diamond plate where the Efficiency Series gets a brushed aluminum look. Of course, we've got it spec with the DAVCO 382 upgraded fuel water separator, remote loop points, greasable front springs, and that ride like a cloud air ride front suspension. Uh, got some trucks that we're doing right now where we're adding a switch to drop the air suspension on the front. Um, a lot of guys are asking for car hauler front suspensions with the five inch drop and the low, low air leaf. Certainly looks great. Um, may not be the best ride quality. Uh, if you want that look to uh, completely drop that front suspension, uh, we can add that. It's super easy. I shouldn't say it's super easy to do. Our body shop makes it look super easy to do in terms of you being able to drop the front suspension. It's two switches. One's a lockout switch. One's one to uh, drop the suspension. It's, it looks really cool. Um, I'll try and throw a link in, uh, in the comments below so you can uh, see what that looks like. Here's the uh, all disc brakes again, front and rear. Again, the all aluminum hood makes it super easy to open and close. One-handed while I'm filming. And there is a look at our beautiful Violet Effect 2021 Peterbilt 389. Uh, we've got this truck available. I think we've also got a Gunmetal, a Bahama Blue, and a Laguna Blue available right now. I'm um, gonna order a couple more of these. Uh, we have a couple more on order that are due to arrive later this month. Uh, not sure the colors on there just yet. Hopefully they're coming without spotlights if we are doing the no air horns on top in the air ride. I think that'll look a lot better. Uh, if you guys wanna order your truck, we are into a 2021 build date. So those will be 2022 models. Um, happy to order your truck or put your name on something that we have in stock or incoming. Give me a call. My name is Travis Quadlander. I'm here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. My cell phone is 817-504-7220. Hablo Español, puede llamarme a 817-504-7220. Or come see us at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt right here in Irving, Texas off of Loop 12 and Union Bauer. I want to thank all you truckers for uh, keeping our country running when we need you the most. There's a lot of crazy things going on in the world and our country right now. And Man, just really appreciate you guys uh, keeping everything going for us, you know, keeping everything as normal as possible. And uh, really appreciate you guys. Look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.